What's up, broadcasters? I'm Jeremy with Rivet, and I'm back with another Rivet how-to video. Let's use our Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder with Rivet. In this situation, I'm going to capture the output of my camera, bring it into my MacBook Pro, and stream it out all over HDMI and USB. It's going to be a really simple process, but I'm excited to show you how to do it. Let's get started. First, I'm going to create a stream in my Rivet dashboard. So I'll hop over here, click on create a stream, and I'll name this BMD test. I will enable telemetry because I have a pro account and that's going to allow me to get some really useful SRT statistics. Enable contributor camera, of course. For a decoder, I'm going to just put a placeholder for now for the decoder IP address. And for port number, I'll, again, put a placeholder, but that's a common one I use anyway. On latency, I'll put 250. I have a pretty fast internet connection, but I want to uh, get a little bit of extra headroom in there. And I'm going to leave SRT stream ID blank. For resolution, I'll use 1920 by 1080p. 30 FPS, that looks good, and video bitrate. For this, I'm using a professional camera. I want to get a very good quality, so I'm going to use 10 megabits per second. That's going to get awesome quality uh, H.264 encoding. For audio bitrate, I'll choose 192 because I'm not doing anything musical. I'm just recording my voice, that, that'll be plenty. I don't need any encryption, and I'm not going to set up a program feed for a return. And now I will click on create stream. So at this point, I'm ready to plug in my Ultra Studio Recorder 3G. It's Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, isn't it? They don't put the whole thing on here. It's a mouthful either way. Um, so this device is really cool because it allows you to do HDMI or SDI with the same device. So you only need one that allows you to switch your input really easily. I'm going to take this cable, and this is a USB-C cable. Uh, I, this is going to work with either Mac or Windows, and the Ultra Studio is a Thunderbolt 3 device. So I'm going to plug this into a Thunderbolt 3 enabled port. And I make this really clear because the USB-C cable is kind of ubiquitous, and it has a lot of different uses many of which are not Thunderbolt. So keep that in mind, the USB-C port on your device will need to have Thunderbolt enabled. Check with your computer to make sure it will work, whether it's a Mac or PC. I'm going to plug that into my computer. And now I'm going to plug in my video source into the Ultra Studio. So it's an Ultra Studio Recorder 3G. 3G means up to 1080p 60. So we're going to plug in a source that doesn't exceed that. In my case, I'm going to use the HDMI output uh, that's actually attached to the Blackmagic Pocket 6K uh, camera that I'm using to record this video. I'm gonna keep it simple for today. Plug that in. The next thing I'm going to do is open up the Blackmagic Desktop Video app. So I'm going to minimize this and type in Desktop Video Setup, there we go. And here, I need to make sure that this is on the HDMI port. It's always best practice to check this first. Click Save, and I can close that now. So at this point, I need to open up Rivet, so I will do that. And I'm going to need to grab the stream that I just created. Um, I'm going to use one that I created before this that has my real IP address in it, so we can make sure it connects. I'll copy that and paste it in. Obviously, you'll paste in your Rivet ID that you created. I will now click on Get Started. So I'm going to click on the Ultra Studio Recorder 3G HDMI, and there we are. I'm connected to the same camera I'm recording on right now. Audio source, I will do the Ultra Studio embedded audio connection. So this is going to grab, in this case, you can see it flicked on my other camera while it made that change. Uh, in this case, this is going to record the embedded audio. So if you have a microphone attached to your camera or switcher, that will show up on the embedded audio. In my case, it's just the uh, onboard scratch microphones. For mode, auto is usually okay. I'm going to flip it to 1080p 2997 just to make sure that it's recording the uh, exact frame rate I want. And now I will click on start broadcast. 
Once the spinning wheel goes away, it means you are connected. So just like that, we are connected and we now have a quick and easy SRT stream going to our decoder. From here, I could bring this into a production with a bunch of SRT sources, video playback, or anything else my show needs. That's it. Please leave a comment and drop a like if this helped you. Consider joining our Rivet Slack channel where we talk all things Rivet, SRT, broadcasting, and streaming. The link for that is in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.